Hello everyone and welcome back to a, another weekly vlog. I just want to apologise first of all that I'm sorry this weekly vlog is a day late, not that probably any of you really care anyway, but the reason why it is is so it's Tuesday today and I normally do the weekly vlogs on Mondays or try and do them on Mondays as you know and I have a photo, I had a photo shoot today so um, I've just been out at a photo shoot all day today. We've been to Raynham Hall doing the photography. Um, well, you'll you'll see what it looks like in, in a minute. It's, it was, the place was absolutely amazing and I did a photo shoot, a violin photo shoot, just to update the photos that I use currently on my website and all my promotional material uh, for the weddings that I perform locally around Norfolk. And the last photo shoot I did was back in 2016. So I like to have photo shoots or promotional photo shoots, mostly for the violin really, because I don't perform locally on the piano. But I like to have photo shoots every two years, 18 months, two years or so, just because I, I change, I look different, and I just get sick of using the same photo again and again and again. So I just felt it was time to have some new photographs. And just before Christmas, I got in contact with my photographer and the lady that uh, does my hair, which is why I look how I look today. I'm sorry for the attire. It's just, you know, it's just, it was just what I had on just to keep warm in between changing around in all my dresses. So since before Christmas, we've just had everything organized for around about sometime in February to book a photo shoot. And yeah, it went really, really well. I've managed to get one of the photos for you. So I'll show you what that looks like. The rest of them I'll hopefully be getting at some point through throughout the week. So in next week's video, I can do like a little kind of um, photo book for you at the end if you just you know if you just want to want to see them so I'm really really pleased with them they came out really well and I've got some really nice headshots and things like that that I can use on my social media platforms and for advertising on my website and kind of all that jazz so that's what I was doing today and um, I did my own makeup today um, I don't know how much of that is coming out on camera but I did my own makeup and I don't know if any of you ladies that are watching this wear um, false lashes. I don't mind wearing false lashes, but oh, do they just, is it just me? Am I the only person that can't get on with false lashes? I don't mind them, but I can feel them constantly on my lashes and I don't like them. And so I'm very desperate to, to rip them off and, and get them off and basically just get all of this makeup off off my face. But I was quite pleased in the way that I did my own makeup today. I have enough of it anyway. That's what I've been doing all day today. I haven't really been doing anything for most of the week last week. It's just been a bit of a quiet week. I've just been working on a new website, www.onlinepianotutor.com. You're welcome to have a look around that website, but it's basically just to advertise my piano books in a different medium to how I do it on YouTube. So people will look for piano courses through the medium of YouTube, through videos, and that's how they find my piano books. But I want to have a little bit more of a presence on the internet so when people type in online piano lessons or whatever it is they type in online then my books and you know my website will come up and you know we'll just reach a wider audience so I've mostly just been doing kind of behind the scenes work for that uh, and that's it really so I just wanted to come on camera very very quickly today because I'm quite tired I'm hungry and I want to have a shower and I want to wash this off and I want to take my eyelashes out and I didn't want to not give you a video this week but the other thing <coughs> excuse me that I really really quickly wanted to talk to you about and it may be a little bit of a favour from you I have a none of you will know this because I haven't actually advertised it to anyone but I have, one of you know this actually, I have a channel called the Holiday Explorers, it's a YouTube channel. I will put a link in the description underneath this video. And on that channel, I post videos showcasing the resorts that we like to go to. So you guys know that I like to go to Mexico a lot, um, we go to Dominican Republic, mostly Mexico and Dominican Republic. But when we go there, we don't go back to the same hotels. We go back to the same area. So when we go to Mexico, we go to, we fly into Cancun and then we, we, we visit hotels along the Riviera Maya. We don't go to the other side of Mexico. So we go along the Riviera Maya. And it's, it's absolutely stunning over there. The weather is, well, you've seen it in some of the vlogs that I've, I've, I've put out previously. Uh, so 
when we go there, we go to different places. Obviously, we don't go back to the same hotel, but what we were kind of noticing that when we were going on holiday and doing the research on TripAdvisor as you do and going onto YouTube to get a feel for the resort, you can read you can read every single review on TripAdvisor to give you an, an idea of whether resort whether the resort is going to be good or bad or you know this, that and the other. But you never quite kind of get the full flavour of it. And what we were kind of noticing on YouTube was that there was a distinct lack of videos that just took you around the resort. You just want to start, you just want to go around the resort, you just want to have a look at the, the, the lobby, the, you know, the, the reception area, the restaurants, the bars, you just want to look around. And a lot of videos were people either just going around with their phone and either just talking all the way through it and the videos were just so long and oh look at this and I'm doing it. They were so long and they were so boring and the phone was shaking around, you know, the quality wasn't very good. Or it was people going around with GoPros strapped to their, their head and of course the quality for those are even worse and it's all in, in fisheye. So there was, there doesn't really seem to be anybody that's just literally walking around the resort showing you all the places that people just want to see and that's it. And that's where we thought we'd step in. So I have all the know-how, I have all the equipment, I have stabilizers, I have all the editing, all the equipment, I have everything all set up. So I know exactly how to do all of that. So where this is going is that I would like to ask you all if you would like to subscribe to that channel and as you all know, subscribing is completely free to do. It doesn't cost you anything to do. It's not one of those channels where I'm gonna be releasing videos daily, weekly, or anything like that. I'm obviously not going on holiday daily, weekly. Wish I could, but I can't. But it's not gonna be one of those channels where there's gonna be loads and loads of videos coming out. It's just gonna be a, you know, a one or two videos out once every few months. But with the new rules of YouTube, you cannot monetize any of your videos until you have at least 1,000 subscribers, I think, and or 40,000 minutes worth of views on your channel, or 40,000 views. I've got that. I don't have the subscribers. I think I've got 280 something subscribers on my Holiday Explorers channel right now, and I need to get that to 1,000 so that I can monetize my videos. And the videos I'm putting out there are getting some really, really good views on there, but I can't monetize them. So I was just politely asking if any of you would like to head to the link underneath this video and just subscribe to that channel, just to help me reach a thousand subscribers or more so that I can then monetize those videos and maybe earn an extra 50 cents per month. So it doesn't earn very much. You guys know that you don't earn very much on, on videos, but you know what, every little helps. And even if it pays for some extra sheet music for me to do an extra backing track or whatever it is, you know, every penny or every cent that goes into to the pot of music is always helpful. So like I said, it's, gonna be no skin off your nose to just subscribe to that but it would just help me get to a thousand subscribers a lot quicker and also the more subscribers you've got the more engagement you get and the better the videos come up and all that kind of jazz so please if you wouldn't mind subscribe to that channel if you don't want to subscribe that's absolutely fine go ahead watch the videos you know if anything you can just see where we like to go on holiday and that kind of thing um, no hard feelings but if you do that would be great very very appreciative and that's it for me I think I will see you in next week's weekly vlog have a good week bye